tubes, here we are, waddling off down the track, as we do, and uh, you can hear a bit of water down there mate, I just hope it's not too rough eh, we'll find out in about probably 10 seconds. There's some big waves out there mate, I'll kid you not. But what we want to do is check down where we are, We're caught up in the trees eh. It looks reasonably clean. Praise Jesus. Well, it's low tide and about three quarters of an hour, guys. Probably just a bit more than that. Now, we're going to go home, guys. We've got a sou-easter coming in, mate. That's coming straight in that way. And anything from the south or western quarters is absolutely no good here. And it's getting quite strong, too. I think we'll have to have a cook up guys but I'm not quite sure what we're going to do have a yarn with Rangi, we can't do the whelks I know that's on the agenda because somebody requested that we do it from start to finish which is fair enough I don't mind coming out getting a few of those mate they're beautiful eating but anyhow guys we'll see you back home eh? it's a bit of a shame it's just the way it goes praise Jesus <laughs> Bringing out any confusion things. <laughs> right, right, are you lot? This is what you're going to need. Now, Rangy's out there being cheeky. Now, what you lot are going to need is one of these. And it's called mutton. Well, I think it's a mutton. This is a home kill, okay? And it is ever so yummy, yums. And what we're doing today, because we can't go fishing because of the, the sea's a bit rougher, as you've already seen, is uh, roast mutton. Uh, we're going to do it with, um, uh, put oil over it, put garlic on there, and we're going to cover it with um, rosemary. You can throw a bit of rosemary in the middle here. And she's going to taste ever so yummy yums. Everybody's had mutton before, but there is a certain way of doing them that I reckon is just a little bit past the rest of them. You're going to need one of these, a good sharp knife. You're going to need some potatoes. We've got a sack of those today. Haven't bought a sack of spuds for months and months and months. But that's all good. And a bit of garlic. Yeah, and the rosemary. And your veggies. If you have veggies, which I think we have. Yeah, we're just scoring them through like that. And we will put the garlic in between the gaps here. But that's our garlic anyway, guys. Get them down for packing, say, for 10 bucks. I was going to grow something this year, but I didn't know. Oh, my God, someone's been in here. It's like a bull in a china shop, mate. Oh, my goodness. Okay, one of these little little things help spread the garlic around. Grows hairs on the chest, as you know. And I like a lot of garlic. Eh? People probably think I'm sticking in too much. But grows hairs on the chest, you know what I mean, Trevs? This is how we do our roast muttons. Used to be a standard feed once a week in our houses when, when we were kids. Yeah, it used to be a standard feed when we were kids. And um, I think it was a Sunday roast we used to have. And, uh, but they're too expensive now, eh? There was a crowd online I saw. They're up in Auckland. They don't deliver out of Auckland, unfortunately. You get five leaves for a hundred bucks. Which I actually thought was quite good. There's that rangy over there sneaking in the door. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our baby over there. What are you doing, Laurie? She's a dowel, isn't she, eh? Look at these dowels of mine. Don't forget to get the, um... Now, we've got rosemary outside, so put fresh rosemary with oil and salt in. Yes, yeah, so yeah. do you want to go and pick the rosemary? Right. Good on you, babes. Sure. You know, good to have a, have a missus like this. You can get the rosemary for you. Praise Jesus. And hallelujahs all around. Right. 
Now we're going to smear this with oil, put our famous Himalayan over here, put some, um, we should just put a bit of garlic on this side too, eh? Yummy arms, mate, I kid you not, eh? You have to go, eh? Hey? Well, I like a lot of garlic, eh? Hey? Oh, juicy growth hairs on the chest, that stuff, mate. Especially the old home grown stuff, I've grown it for a few years, but uh, it's so much cheaper just to go in and boil this, eh? Hey? Yeah, my baby's gone here to get us some rosemary, and we're just going to cover this in um, oil and um, put salt on it. Yeah, we might stick some. Garlic, uh, some rosemary right up the ends here and uh, get it inside and we'll get a good flavour coming out probably down this end and she'll be ready to rock and roll glory to our god eh here comes my darling we grow our own rosemary here we've got a great big plant outside there and lavender all that goody oody yum yums you don't need a lot of oil, eh? it goes, goes for miles, this stuff. Rose hairs on the chest. That's the wah who had a bit no sleep. Come on, darling. She likes to shut the door on herself. Mm, yes, yeah, she does. She closes and locks herself in. Right. Yummy, 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 yummy. Fresh rosemary. Mm. Yeah, we're growing this stuff, mate. I could you not. Mm. Put mm. nothing great. I love it. I don't know what, what it's like. Bought stuff, I've no idea. Here you go, hoary, hoary. A bit up there and a bit up there and a bit down there and some over the top. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't. Okay. Have you got the oven on? Okay. Oh, it's a bit early. Okay. Oh, well, oh, I suppose. Oh, you're good. just going to get it. Get it you're ready. You're just preparing it, are you? Come on, 190, eh? We're going to be rocking and rolling, Trevor's. Good day, Trevor's. Now, as I was going to say, um, we've got merch for sale, or t-shirts at the moment. Now, if anyone's interested, they're 35 bucks. I know they seem expensive, but this is as cheap as we can do them, eh? You can get pretty much any colour you like. It doesn't have to be black or beige like we wear. Um, although the black ones, they do, they do look quite respectable, those ones. But yeah, they're there if you want them. Just um, sing out and we'll organise them for be printed. And um, yeah, we're on patreon.com under Hori and Rangi. And uh, if anyone wants to support us or become a member or anything like that, you're welcome to. Here we are, gathered here today, not in holy matrimony either. I'm already married. And they've been for years. And now we're going to put this stuff up some of these holes here. Oh, he's a bone in there. Oh, we'll get one up there. Looks we'll like this stuff, mate. This is beautiful, eh? And we're just gonna somehow stick them in that hole. Right. Get a bit of garlic, because what that does. That gets it all through the meat, mate. It's beautiful, man. I kid you not. Mate. It's absolutely amazing. It's amazing what God has given us to use. You know, the Old Testament, mate, it's all about feasting and stuff like that. There were other things, you know, I used to go out to war and all that sort of carry on. Right, now what we're going to do, we're just going to smother this with a bit of salt and yeah himalayan salt here which we've got just to be due for a refill she's very popular in this house mate i kid you not and we rub that in with the oil that we've put on little oh, mate is going to grow some hairs on people's chest now if you're getting too much hair on your chest shave it off for the next crop to come through Stick our oven on at 190, mate. Okay. Because you 
used to roast these in the coal ranges, mate, back in the day. Oh boy, gee. You can't beat it, man. This electric and stuff, mate. It's not my cup of tea, but I'd rather have a cook up there in the beach, eh? I really would, man. Here's that Randy sneaking in there with Baba Boo. Yeah, we just get some of these leaves off this rosemary and sprinkle it over the top. Boy, gee, look at this, eh? Praise Jesus. Yeah, the old roasts are getting a bit expensive. I see there was some Australian imported mutton roasts and they were like nearly 60 bucks a shot down there. Nah. We can get home kills, mate, we'll do that. If there's anyone on the channel here who's got uh, home kill, you don't have to be mutton or pork or beef or something like that, give us a holler, mate, because um, we could be interested, eh? I haven't had roast beef since, oh, probably since I left home. Not a proper one, not what I call a good roast anyway in the oven, you know. Praise Jesus for rosemary, eh? In muttons and everything else. <coughs> well, that's the roast done there, Trebs. Now, what I'm going to do with that, I've got a little bit of dripping. Just a little bit of dripping left over from the um, chops we had the other night. I'm just going to stick that in the bottom of this here. Remember a sharp knife always does a good job, eh? Grows hairs on your chest. Looking at the size of this race, Chiefs, I'd say it's going to take a bit. Probably around about two hours to cook. The time is now five to one. We're going to stick it in the oven with that thing on top and see how she rock and rolls. Righto guys, you're going to need Murphy's. However many you so desire, depending on how many people you've got in your family, I suppose. Yeah, and we're going to roast carrots with it too. There you go. All pack and slave stuff this time, mate. Those are skinny little carrots. However many you so desire in your outfit, that's probably just a couple more. That'll do us. We've grown more of these this year, freaking thousands of them. That noise is old Rangy and Boo having a play, mate. Righto, Trebs, here we are. They're Murphy's. And we're going to roast our carrots, mate. And uh, throw those in there, and then we're going to cook up a bit of salmon for me and Mum to have for lunch. Salmon frames, actually. Grow hairs on the chest. A bit of butter and salt and all that sort of carry on. Ringy's going to have to start shaving the chest soon. Oh, getting so hairy. Right, praise Jesus. What right, the top and tail is, fellas. You can tell I'm not a professional chef or anything, mate. I'm so slow on it, but that's all good. So we'll just hack these up into quarter strips as we do. Most of them, anyway. It's usually the small size they serve up these days. Some of those rowers, mate, they used to grow real big and you don't need one spud for a feed. Right, that's that done. This is what we did to our carrots. Praise Jesus. Now we get the old roaster out, mate, and we'll stick it in. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty good. Oh, 
wild trees on that chase trees, look at this. He's not going to take on the cook, eh? Best to put the flesh side down, I reckon. I think. I'm not 100 percent sure about that. Rather than the skins. I don't worry about peeling carrots or anything like that. Not this kiwi anyway. Fine weather, I don't know what the water's going to be like for fishing. It was no good yesterday, as you've seen. And I thought it would be beautiful, but nah. Been a bit rough out then, the locals were saying it's been pretty rough out then too. That's it, why do we? Righto guys, let's go back in the oven. And then we're going to fry up some salmon frames, eh? That's the wire in the background you can hear. Righto you lot. Welcome to lunch. I can't share it with you because you're on the other side of the camera. That's all good. Now what we're doing here, these just come from pack and save, eh? Salmon frames. I've seen them in the South Island, in the rivers, eh? Boy, gee, there's some good fish down there, mate. I think back then, you were allowed to be at two inch. They're quite big fish, though, eh? Gee, you don't need too much. Right, a bit of butter in the old pan. Bought a new pan too, it cost $17 at Briscoe's. Works a treat. I don't know what Rangy's doing mate, but it's probably not much. Rangy's down there, probably on Timu. <laughs> doing something anyway, my darling. Now a lot of people with the frames, they will put them in um, flour. And that's what we used to do, but we're not going to do that anymore. We're just going to cook them up in a bit of butter. Because it grows hairs on the chest. Good sharp knife too, Trevs. Working with fish, eh? This, is, this frying pan's a uh, low to medium heat one, eh? It's pretty cool. It works and it does the job, my old mate. Yeah, how much of these have we got? That looks like a liver or something. I don't think we really want that full. Gee, this is a big frame. Glory to our God, eh? We serve a mighty God, guys. We really, really do. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Oh, hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Oh, yes, that's pretty good there. We'll do Rangy's first, being a gentleman and all, you know what I mean? Got a bit of salt for you, darling. Yeah, the boss has said yes, so we'll put on some, uh, one of your famous Himalayan. Praise Jesus. You're going to want to squeeze a lemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is all ringy, eh? Uh -huh. I think she just a doll, that girl, eh? Love it to pieces. Right, we better turn these over, I think, Trish. Rocking with Jesus, Trebs. Right, better get a plate for the old girl to have a munch on. Beautiful. What at the cash? Oh no, I'm not paying that. There's a bunch of burgers. Hey, Jesus. Place to keep things clean and in order, Trebs. Now 
good old toady shirt, mate. That's the wow you can hear in the background. She's wanting a bit of salmon, but she eats anything that child, and that's a good thing. Pokey frames are the best ones. Used to get those up and down with spade back in the day. Oh, gee, they're nice too. Bring you reckon to be about hour three for the roast. It's been going for an hour now. Oh, yeah. Sure, I think they're done. Ten plates, mate. Little lemon meal, Max. Grabs hairs on the chest. Don't give Sam a ring. Bubby's eating all rangy salmon, eh? Now, I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. That is dinner and lunch in the hoary and rangy house, mate. And I kid you not, it is yummy yums and very, very cheap to do. Very cheap, especially if you can get a home called mutton. Now don't do anything I wouldn't do and I must admit you're all starting to look quite handsome, almost as handsome as this old fella. Praise Jesus. There's my darling down there <laughs> trying to hide behind those plants on the table. This is yummy yums. <laughs> Daddy's almost eaten all my salmon. Bye bye. Isn't she just so beautiful that darling of mine down there? <laughs> Thank you Corey <laughs> for, cook for cooking our salmon. Oh, that's all right, my darling. These are really yummy, these salmon frames. Grow hairs on your chest. Got to watch out for the odd bone. Oh, my gee. Yummy yums. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> Look at that one. Hanging around for all our kai, mate. Eats like a horse, but she eats everything, and that's good. Even eats kidneys and all that sort of stuff. Thank you, Bubba. Look at it. Look at her moving in and moving in yeah. for the cool, mate. She's a great one for whacking her head on everything, eh? And thank you for all the new subscribers. There's been hundreds of you. Praise Jesus, guys. Mmm, those salmons are yummy. Mm. So anyway, I just want to um, give a shout out to my cousin's uh, boy. His name is Rafari. He's about 10 or 11, I think. And I hadn't seen him since he was a little bubba. And it wasn't until we got to my, my nan's um, tangy. And he says to his mum, Mum, that's, that's her mum that we watch all the time. <laughs> so anyway, Rafferty, it's a big shout out for you. And thank you for watching, hun. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Amen. Look at that little bandicoot over there, eh? That's what's left of the salmon frames we had. Yummy arms. I'm sure the cat might get a bit of a picking off them too. Oh, we're just going to flip her over, Trevs. <clears throat> Quite yummy yums. If these spuds and stuff a bit of a stir. Oh gee, that looks yummy to me, guys. Right, oh, Trevs, it's the moment of reckoning, eh? Time to get the roast out and give her a bit of a carve so you can see what she's like in Jesus' name, eh? Praise, oh, praise Jesus. Pretty good to me, eh? Remember a knife, sharp knife. Does the job. Praise Jesus, mate. This is this is Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, me old mates. Just try that bit. Oh my goodness. Oh, I kid you not, mate. 
that is absolutely beautiful. Mm. Mm. Oh man, it just melts in your mouth, eh? it's absolutely beautiful mate. Yeah, there was a guy who messaged me the other day or comment on the on the channel there about when we did the roast piggy a while ago and he said to stick some stalks of um, rosemary right up inside the meat in the middle of the meat and that's what we've done here and I kid you not he said either on the pig or mutton and we did it on the mutton here and I'll tell you what mate it is just oh all I can do and say is praise Jesus, mate. This is good. I kid you not, this is good, eh? It's really, really good. It'd be one of the nicest roasts I think I've eaten for a long time. Praise Jesus and thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel, you know, through Patreon and, and on YouTube there. I well, thank you for all the new subscribers. And um, yeah, all the viewers, the comments, everything, eh? Oh, thank you very, very much, guys. And I praise Jesus for this mutton. I'll share it with you, but uh, you're on the other side of the camera. Catch you in the next video, guys, and God bless, eh?